Hey what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still in this nightclub, I don't, I think it was Skrala's song that it was called. And uh, let's see where our contact is. The passcode was Sheena, so uh, wait for contact over here. Hey! Piss off. Hi. You order, you pay. I said... It's off? And that's a knife. The big, angry Krogan is scared of a knife. You look like you're waiting for someone. Reyes Vidal. Okay, what was she doing? Um, hmm. No tanks for now. Not interested. I don't really trust this guy just yet. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. Uh -huh. I was expecting okay. someone more Angaran. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information. Among other things. So he sounds like the guy from Just Calls. Rico. Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Hmm. Not really how I would put it if I look at this place, but... Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Well, everybody has a price. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the Resistance. Okay, right, his fingers are going through one How another. How do I contact you if things go south? You don't, apparently. Hey, you gotta pay. Keep the change. Always okay. do. That, that was easy. How, how do you keep the change from a digital transaction? That is... That was stupid. Keep the change. I mean... You're paying digitally. I'm supposing you're paying the... The, the, the amount you're needed to pay. Let's leave this nightclub. It takes a while to leave a nightclub in this game. Because, um, yeah, there's, they're very, Sam, very strong tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security... Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. How is that nearly spotless? If she started a fight with superiors. Um, that was weird. So, yeah. I wonder how you get out of that nightclub if, if anything happens. That doesn't seem really safe if it takes two minutes to open the door. Outcast headquarters. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to meet Sloan Kelly immediately. That was a quick door. Yeah, yeah, we know it. You're a big, a big blue Krogan. Focus defenses Krogan. here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. Have you been sucking off a printer or why is her face what? filled with ink? Um, should I curtsy? Uh, names first. You must be Sloan Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. What is so, that blue sm what smear on her face? What brings to our humble port? Ven Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Um... Hmm... I'll be honest with you for now then. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've she doesn't like cats, so... Cat. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead. And I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Um... Huh. Do I care about one guy? In this case... I think I don't. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. 
Because I still, I don't really know if we're still uh, refreshments. trying to stall her or not. Because that was pretty fast. Kytus. That's uh, yes, another cool Turian. Uh, let's open up the door. And let's go to the holding cells. Which are conveniently right next door. Can Don't I see the prisoner? Don't touch the prisoner. And the only thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't cause trouble. Uh, except I'm actually looking for a few things. Ooh, get fighting model. Thank you. Hopefully these guys don't start shooting at me because I stole one of their model airplanes. Uh, was that a data pad? Yeah. There we go. Kytus, I caught two more recruits rifling through the stock. We need locks. Don't give a shit it sends, if it sends a message of distrust. I don't trust them. Three crates of good ale have gone missing this month alone. One of these assholes is to blame. We might all wear the same colors, but these rookies aren't of the same caliber as you and me. McAfee. Is that seriously? The guy is called McAfee and he's responsible for security. I do not like your hair color. I mean, your head is bluer than the Asari right next to you. Because she's purple. Okay, let's head in here. Ooh. Hello, Van. Venterev. What do you want? Um, the ship. A bit of intel. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloane. I'm a pathfinder with the initiative. And she's telling One that to the sea lady. Shy. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. Glad you know, so news travels fast. Uh, but yeah, help me then. You can still make this right, Ben. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Making it right won't save my life. But it could save others. The Archon ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Where exactly? Thanks for the intel. Uh, okay, you know enough for that. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Hmm, sure. Tell me that I was still here. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket. And still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, well, that I didn't know what kind of Ket failed, to right? People. Yeah. Um, the Archon clearly manipulated you, that's right. But it still makes you a traitor. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader... Oh yeah, it's his fault. Uh, it doesn't matter. By the way, how do you decapitate an Angara? Because that's a big neck. You're gonna need a hacksaw to take that off. Chainsaw, maybe? Retrieve the cat transponder from the Badlands. The communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Betra, Drac, are you back from... Whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went no off without a hitch. We're off this shit <laughs> detail. Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Uh, okay then. Fast travel unlocked. Maybe I can go faster through this way. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Nope. So give me a second then we'll uh, head towards the Badlands. Why the Badlands? I like the good lands better. So, the interesting thing is that the um, Badlands are actually marked as the slums through the fast travel system, so the transit system. So, this used to be an area where people lived, clearly. Ooh, Iridium. Thank you. 
Okay. Seems rather empty, so... A city under a city. At the center is Tartarus, a nightclub. Okay then, thanks for that information. Sam, that was we... okay. If you're thinking of heading into the Badlands, well, you may never come back. Okay, hello, Warden. What do you know about the situation out there? You might say I'm Warden of the Badlands. It's not a place for tourists. Tough beyond these walls. A warden for what, exactly? What does tough look like? A graveyard of people who are either dead or soon will be. Badlands are Kadar's dumping ground. Like a giant prison. When you're too nasty for even this place, we kick you out there. You mean exiles who get exiled? That yep. is hypocrite. Worst of the worst. And some of them want to be there. Got secrets to hide, I guess. The water's toxic. Sulfur springs are everywhere. Have a nasty habit of catching fire. Yeah. <laughs> so have at it. Knock yourself out. Sounds like a fun place to go, so here we go. Into the Badlands. Activating automated forward station deployment. They're actually pretty nice. Kinda of reminds me of uh, one of the levels of Borderlands 2. But this is actually pretty nice. There we go. Um, I'm guessing My I'm gonna need the Nomad, so let's activate that. Uh, and just to be clear, I took Vetra and Drac because I had the right, choice. Sam, show me what we've got. Oh my Kadara's god, that was a flash. Sulfide minerals, the oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. So, no skinny dipping? No dipping at all, Pathfinder. Even the Nomad's shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. Yeah, indeed. So I'm gonna do all the, the extra stuff in between recordings. I don't need to uh, activate I all the pillars in recording. No, Drac, no. <laughs> Drac wanted to, so the vertical trust upgrade is installed so we can uh, jump higher and we get a bit more health in the Nomad. So I upgraded that in between as well. So yeah, Drac wanted to drink the acid. I'm gonna do what I was saying was that I'm gonna do everything extra in between recordings. So wait, you're Kesha's father? To make this uh, a bit more interesting. Actually, she tell you about me? Not exactly. She did use to swear up and down about a stubborn old fossil, usually while hitting something. Stubborn old fossil. Hmm. She's called me worse on a good day. <laughs> okay then. What was that? There was like something big flying over there. The outlaws built some kind of tech. They'll be looking to defend it. Ooh. That looks like... That's a pelican from Halo, isn't it? That looks way too familiar. There we go. Just gonna boost through everything and I'll see you guys uh, when we're needed. You never tried looking for your dad. I tried. I asked around. Loudly. Dumb, huh? You were a kid. Sure way to make someone vanish is to let him know someone else is looking. Either dad or whoever it was that made him disappear. You hate him for it. Nah. I tell myself he'd come back if he could have. I'll never get the truth, so I'll take the lie that makes everything easier. So I think we're here. If I get around to getting there, uh, I think it's over here. Oh, okay. So we're almost there, but it seems like I made a a bit of a mountainside detour. Um, so yeah, let's go down the mushroom path to the right, to the right, to the right. Yeah, okay, that was perfect. So this is supposed to be it. Are there going to be people shooting at me? Because I think we're actually okay in the atmosphere here. Because she doesn't even wear a helmet at this point. Lithium, I think I scanned that already. Thank you. 
and damned. Pathfinder. Then to Rev claimed he buried the Ket transponder near this location. Okay. Seems like he was right. Otherwise, yeah. There we go. He didn't really bury it all that well. Found it. That thing's busted. The transponder's <laughs> Okay, that was dry. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. Easy. See, we're halfway there already. What the hell happened oh, to yeah. her skin? Hard parts totally behind us. So the planet looks pretty and all, but I feel like the shader kind of makes everybody's face look terrible. So I need to. Oh, Jesus Christ! We just received Christ. a notification that there's been a murder in Kadara Port. Murder, huh? Might be something to look into. Yes, lovely planet. Hope we never leave. Oh, Callow, you sarcastic man! A murder at Kadara Port. I feel like that's ordinary business over there. Um. Just gonna check because there's like a okay, like a blue crystal over here. Oh, it's just iridium. Thank you very much. Um, well then, maybe let's uh, go check uh, Kadara Port then again because it seems like somebody's been murdered over there. Even though it feels like a place where murders are daily business. But hey, see you guys back at Kadara Port. This area could be viable for an initiative outpost, Pathfinder. However. For any long-term success, you'll need to find a solution. Hmm, goes underground. Hopefully there's Ooh. a way down. We're gonna need a really big drill. There we go, memory trigger. Found that on the way. Just out here in the Another wild. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Ooh. Return to Sam node on the Hyperion to investigate further. That sounds like a plan. If ever need a shoulder to lean on, I can, you know, ask around. <laughs> Got a box of spares somewhere? You know it. So that was a very sarcastic statement. So I can actually put down this outpost Automated over here. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Which is good to have a fast travel point later on. But apparently there's a lot of enemies here as well. But uh, yeah, as I said before, I'll see you guys back at... Kadara port. You know what? The Badlands aren't all that bad once you get to know them, but um, I don't really find any idea about the murder. So I'm just gonna wait a minute with that. So Cora's here as well. Guarding the Tempest? The Nomad. Got some attention when we disembarked, and it's a lot more portable. Yeah, that could get Seems stolen smart. easily. Only three attempts to steal it so far, and one offer to buy it. Don't attack anyone. Let's make nice with the locals. No rough stuff, even if they do have sticky fingers. No problem. Biotic shield makes the point just as well. Well, for once I'd like to see you use that in combat, because I haven't seen that yet. So, since I can't really find anything about the murder, I'm just going to go back to the Tempest and check out uh, if we can't fix that cat transponder. Ooh, that looks pretty. So we're actually disembarking immediately as well, which is probably just hiding a loading screen, if I'm honest. But yeah, we might as well uh, check this out as well, because since I, I've shown every one of these, uh, only the first time, of course, because this gets repeated every time you leave or arrive on a planet, so... Uh, and it's pretty long. But yeah, let's go check up on Gil. Or Nolt. What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. Yeah, I did. me neither. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. <laughs> I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morda made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. Um, let's just listen as a start. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, 
I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Elodin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Perfect. Because if there's one thing I do know about, it's fighting pirates. Yeah, you've been talking about that. now that we that. have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Let's stay open-minded, Korra. Take it easy. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Kalo the nav points for both Elodin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey! I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. <laughs> Everybody was meeting leaving adjourned, already. As you were. <laughs> okay then. So two new I'd like to call them major quests. So the Krogan world is probably for Drac, and then the Turian Gold world, of course, for Vetra. Which sounds interesting. Um Yeah? Could when go. You had a normal conversation. Okay. Okay, BB seems a bit mad about uh, Lexi there. Um, you know what? You might as well go talk to Gil. We're pretty close to where he is. So if he is where he is. Fighting their own this whole time. Fuck. Okay. Not well. Okay, let's go to the, through the door and talk to Gil. Gil, here's that Ket transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? Well, location a location, to, dumbass. Should give us a fix on the Archon ship. <sighs> right. Um, no, no pressure? It's not like there's much writing on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. That was cute. Pressure. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. Okay. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Did you connect the... Oh, um, Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is probably not good. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure okay. want to do this? Yeah, well, we have to. I know we're still getting our feet wet. But I don't see another choice. <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is dangerous. Only if we die. I like how they tried to give the... Ooh, wait for PB to learn more about the Remnant. So that moved up a few quests, apparently. I do like how they're trying to give the characters that had a lesser role in the previous game, so the engineers, for example, to have them give them a bit more personality, but I feel like Gil isn't all that interesting. Now I'm gonna upset a lot of Gil fans out there, but. In the escape pod room, as usual. You know what, Peebs? Now that you're talking about it, let's pay Pathfinder, you a visit. You have new email. And check out that email, because there's a, a few. Holy shit, so every. Loyalty mission that was on hold now suddenly woke up. So let's read a bit of emails. I'm gonna try to skip through them rather quickly. I promise. So I had a breakthrough on the location of the Asari Ark. Uh, acknowledge. Sid, encrypted message from Sid. So from her sister, from Vetra's sister. Okay. Meeting with Aksul from Moshai. Shefa. So Jal expressed that you wish to meet with Aksul. Now that's probably possible. New project, project from PB. Avatus Rix, so that's the Natanus, so the Tyrian Ark. Uh, and Aya Diplomatic Efforts. You've established ties with the Resistance Leader, the Moshai, and the Aya's Governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. Okay, so that's just... Error Carrier Signal Interrupted Invitation. Oh, so that's from Knight, so that's the Firefighter's Quest that's continuing. Holy shit, there's a lot going on. 
Captain Dunn asking me to uh, go to the Hyperion deck and check up on him. Something suspicious from Sidera Nix. Um, so that's Fetra's sister, Sid. She's in trouble as well, so... And there's the rest, okay. I think that's pretty much all I needed to read, because I don't want to bother you anymore with all that reading. Um, so let's check up on Phoebe. Phoebe? Kadara Port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. It's kind of all we got. In the absence of any others, it's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? <laughs> Flirting every single time that's there. Um, I'll leave you to it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, so nothing new for PB. Um, so that means I am going to take a little break. We have a lot of work ahead of us. But that's really good because I want to go deeper into the loyalty mission. So we're not going to go hunting for the Archon just yet. Uh, but next time we'll start going through all the loyalty missions. And see if we can't find any more of those uh, those missing arcs. Because both the Turian arc and the Asari arc might be pretty close to being discovered. So thank you guys normally for watching. If you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.